Switzerland that lost to Canada. Czechs open with a shootout win against Finland that beat Germany and the United States to finish first in Group B under coach Jakob Fetter, whose son, Dominic, is the number one center for this team, and he wins that draw back to Jakob Dvorak. That was a quick counter off the faceoff. Dvorak hit Shala, and Shala just missed cutting it onto that puck. The he was the guys playing someone off the puck, right? sort of angling them off. Then in the 80s and 90s, you see the big, big thumping collision start to be part of the, the equation. That long shot score tipped in front by Forestfjall on a point shot by Sandine Pelika. And Sweden grabs the lead with 2.09 to go in the first period. Forestjall, I mean, he's had some chances here in the first period. He's been quick on the puck. He's had some looks in and around the net. And this is a play where Czechia just can't get the puck and then there's the little redirect. Just a simple play where it's going one way and Forrest Jow, that's a, it takes oh. it back the other way. That's a beautiful redirect off the shot by Sandine Zep, Zelika. Zeb Forrest Jow yep. from Sheleftio in the far north of Sweden. Not to pick that up as Theo Lindstein. Swedes, you mentioned, Craig won the IHF under 18 tournament last spring. As Joaquin shooting, scoring! No, Nord walks in and fires that home. Roofs it for a 2 0 lead. That, I mean, really nice shot by Noah Norden. Skating with speed, a good stretch pass up the ice. But you're a 6'6 six six goaltender, and you want to make yourself four foot six and give up that part of the net, short side, you're going to get beat. There's the quick up. Here he comes, and then, well, like, I don't get it. You're 6'6". Six, six. Why do you want to make yourself smaller? All you got to do is stand there, and the puck's going to hit you. Excellent shot, though. He saw the opening, and he put it right there. I always say this, Gord, I mean, in baseball, when the pitcher makes a mistake, the ball gets hit out of the park. They throw a new ball to the pitcher, and we all talk about the pitcher making a mistake, of course. Nord was knocked off the puck by Volkvest. Badinka back with it now. Badinka works in, shoots, a little save, rebound drops right back in front, shoot, score! Jakob Stancil with a big goal for Czechia on the long rebound, and it's 2-1. to one. Long rebound, yes, but Stancil, oh, there we go. <laughs> A different kind of dance by Adam Diebel. But the long rebound, Stancil's walking right into this. He's coming in here at the top of your screen and he's all over it. I rebound and then he finishes nicely. Had a knack for scoring some big goals in the tournament. He scored the tying goal against the Finns with 33 seconds to go in regulation and set that game to the shootout that Czechia eventually won. You can see Erla did there. He was trying to catch the puck. Yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't off the pads. It was off the glove, and he couldn't squeeze it. We got ourselves a game. The eight Czechs rushed to the NHL were still relatively new. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the wall didn't come down until the early 90s, so... There's a quick shot, score! Noah Dower Nilsson roofs that. Another top shelf job on Rommel, and it's 3-1. Well, when you hang the breaking ball, it goes over the fence. And when you're six foot six and you give the upper part of the net, like Rommel does, it goes in the net. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's a nice shot by Dower Nilsson, but those are the, the last two goals on Rommel are totally preventable. Stand up. Don't make yourself small. Don't give up the top part of the net. Mistake by the goaltender, taken full advantage by Dower Nelson, previously by Noah no Noel Nord. It's 3 1 for Sweden. So the Swedes restore their two goal lead with 1.14 left. Back to Sandine Pelica, couldn't find the handle. That's chopped up by Gachera, now a chance shorthanded. Feltzman works in all along, Feltzman in, it scores! Shorthanded goal and a huge one for Yuri Feltzman. Brings Czechia back within one. And Axel Sandine Pelica 
makes an effort to try to keep the puck in at the blue line, but he's not successful. Southman can skate, and he breaks free. That's a really, really good play on the boards by Kucherov. And then a nice backhand forehand move by Southman shorthanded. So Jakub Dvorak sitting in the penalty box a little bit anxiously at the beginning of this. Well, he's not so anxious now seeing his team come within one with 14, 13 left. And Dvorak can't watch. <laughs> now he can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Feltzman, who plays his under-17 hockey for Lang now in Switzerland. So when do we see Shala, Petter, and Zidlitschke again? On comes Stenberg now. Stenberg walks in and shoots, scores! Otto Stenberg with the dagger for the Swedes. A rocket of a shot that restores the two-goal lead with 3.16 to go. Wow. Goal number two, goal number three, goal number four by Sweden. Full marks to the Swedish shooters for taking advantage. But Michael Rabel again, six foot six goaltender. He pushes down, gets him down, and does it. That's an angle. Like, there, there's no threat. Just stand there. Just stand there. And Stenberg's a really good shooter. You give him an opening, he's going to bury it. Rabel gave him the opening. Lights, curtains. So you're sitting there thinking about the goalie pull when they get Shala on, and then Stenberg with a great shot there. And Diebold just likely. hangs his head. Yeah. Bergstrom plays it rink wide. The net is empty for Lucas Kling. But Nicka tries to play that ahead. Now a chance of the backhand score. Willie Johansson, who was turned away earlier on a great save by Ravel as the empty net there, and Kling gets his second of the tournament. And it's now 5-2, to two, and Sweden can book its spot in the gold medal game against Canada. 4 p.m. local time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll have a rematch of the Sweden-Canada game that's determined first place, but quickly moving up the ice and determination on the puck and just a little soft touch into the net. I'm going to lose one. Because it stinks when you lose it. Oh, yeah. I'm on that train. Brought back in by Stenberg. Fire scores again! Stenberg with 4.4 seconds to go makes it 6 to 2. Draft prospects in the head to head battle against Shala comes out the winner. And the Swedes win it by a score of 6 to 2. They'll face Canada in the gold medal game at 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific tomorrow. It'll be Czechia versus Finland in the first game of the day for bronze at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific time.